everyone, welcome back to yet another episode. I'm Kyle Johnson, your friendly neighborhood biochemist. This week, we are talking about a very popular sleep aid called melatonin. Guarantee you've heard of it, you can buy it in pretty much any CVS, pharmacy, uh, grocery stores have it, so on and so forth. Now, what exactly melatonin is, it's actually a hormone that your body produces in your pineal gland, and it's known for inducing mainly, but also helping to regulate your sleep. It's very safe, very effective, and the best thing about melatonin is it's non-habit forming and there's no negative feedback loop. Now, let me explain that for just one second. A negative feedback is when you take a supplement or a hormone or something like that and your body says, oh, hey, I have this coming from an external source. I don't need to make it anymore. Melatonin doesn't do this. Things like steroids, if, if someone uh, watching this has ever taken a steroid, afterwards you have to do some sort of a, a post-steroid uh, therapy or a PST. Uh, melatonin doesn't have any of that effect, so if for some reason you didn't take it one night, your body's still going to go ahead and produce it itself. Melatonin also happens to be a really powerful antioxidant and is currently being studied for its effects on breast cancer. may actually help with that. Now, we say in all of our videos, I'm not a doctor. Don't play one on the internet. Always consult your physician if you have any concerns about a supplement or if you're wondering if it can help with a disease state. We don't handle that here. The last point I can make to you about melatonin is that there is an efficacious dose for it. A lot of people are taking way too much. If you were to go to a CVS pharmacy or grocery store and just buy it over the counter, you're going to see that the lowest you can buy is three milligrams. Now, three milligrams happens to be way too much. The original study that showed the efficacious dose was in senior citizens who were having trouble falling asleep because they weren't producing enough melatonin on their own. The dose they were taking was 300 micrograms. Now, 300 micrograms is one-tenth the dose you're buying over the counter in a store. So, if you're going to buy it, I recommend finding a company that is actually selling 300 microgram melatonin. Now, we're not paid for or supported by any other supplement companies. We don't recommend any specific companies. Do some research on your own. Be your own scientist. Be your own advocate. Find one that's reputable, that sells it in 300 micrograms. Three milligrams, while you won't build up a tolerance to it, you can actually buy a lot more than that. Some people are taking 5, 10, 15, 20 milligrams. At that point, you may actually build up some resistance to melatonin because you're taking way too much. Never take that amount. Stick with three if you're just buying over the counter. We recommend finding that 300.